Okay, Fight Fans, all the way from Japan, multi-division champion, uh, former pound for pound great, our guy, Mr. Nonito Donia is joining us now. What's up, champ? How you guys doing, man? Thanks for having me. Listen, a pleasure to have you. Uh, I, I've been thinking about this rematch uh, with NOA since the first fight, right after the fight. <laughs> you know, we said, we were saying to ourselves like, okay, this has to happen again at some point, but only because you have proven that you are still one of the top guys in the division and you belong in a ring with, uh, especially not only that fight, but I'm saying afterwards. What, what has kept you at that level after so many years in the sport? You know, I think it's it's purpose. You know, the moment that I got into the the, uh, the WBSS uh, tournament, I was, um, you know, I got my focus back a little bit here and then. And after I lost to uh, Inoue, um, you know, it was more of, of, man, I can beat this guy, you know? And, and that fire was just burning, burning hard. Uh, and, and right after the fight, um, after se after feeling that I could beat him the next time, I got back into into the drawing board, right back into it. Um, spent a, a week or two, and then back into the gym again. Wow. And I've been, I he's been on my mind since then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So, have you ever thought? Is it is this on your mind as well that when you beat Inaway, you this will be the second time in a s different decade you being on a pound for pound list. Um, you know, I don't really think <laughs> I don't really think about that stuff, man. You know, um, for me, it's just the focus. You know, the 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 goal, the purpose of, of becoming um, undisputed. Um, you know, beat getting his belt and then getting the other belt. But the mindset is pretty much that. You know, um, I'm driven by by beating this kid, and I'm driven by um, becoming the undisputed. You know, that, that's the only thing that I don't have in my resume. Where do you think you fell short in that last fight? Well, I came in there fighting. I came in there without the, the game plan. I came in there with just, you know, sheer um, guts. You know, it was just more of me going in there and trying to bully the, the kid, you know, and, and he came up pretty strong. He uh he was tough. He was tough, you know. Um I didn't expect that from him and um and you know, and he, he can crack too. So um what you know, one thing for me was I just I just came in there with, with the mindset of fighting. This time I'm coming in with everything. Yeah, you got a lot of boxing ability. You show that. You could fight from both stands. Come on, man. Will you school this kid and let's get this over with? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, 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 Nonito, going into that fight, obviously, in a way, you know, had a reputation of, of being such a powerful puncher, great body puncher at that. After sharing the ring with him, what was your, your take on him as an opponent? Did you say to yourself, all right, he is what, what everybody's been raving about, or he has holes that people don't see. What was your overall assessment after sharing the ring with him? Um, well, my overall thing, I mean, even after I came out of that ring was I can beat him. You know, there was just so many vulnerabilities that I can, um, I can uh, uh, take advantage of. Um, again, you know, not, not take him lightly. I mean, he's, he's a tough guy. He's a, not only that he's tough, but he can crack. He got some speed. He got, he got the overall thing similar to me. How does he compare to other opponents though, in terms of power that you faced in the past? Um, I mean, I took his punches. I took his right. punches, but you know, we're both getting in there with different gloves. We, we, we're both getting in there with, with the punches glove this time. Uh -oh. And so, yeah. So what this was the last time? Difference. I have no well, idea. What when on, on the last fight, um, I had fought on a winning because my, my, um, my Everlast, the one I always use, uh, didn't uh, arrived, um, I guess in the packaging and all that stuff and the delivery it got messed up. You know, and so I wasn't able to use the pairs that I brought in for Japan, and I had to use uh, his other, uh, his his secondary gloves. Mm, wow. So you're saying that yours weren't punching gloves, but his probably were, or what? What are you saying? No, they were both the same. They were both okay. the same. We both wore the same uh, winning gloves. Right. You know, um, hit, I was the secondary gloves that he had, and he has his own winning gloves as well. Um, as we know, you know, winning is a very a protective kind of gloves, um, right. but this time we're both coming in with both punches glove. I think he's coming in with the Reyes and I'm coming in with the same gloves that I've always used in, in my fights. Okay. No, no need to, I want to get your opinion on something else uh, outside of, of you. Uh, Canelo Alvarez has been on the pound for pound list for a while. After this recent loss, there are many uh, people that are have moved him away from number one. Uh, some people got him number seven, number six. 
we have him at number two. Do you feel that Canelo still deserves to be up there? Maybe even at number one because he tried to win a title in a different division that he really doesn't belong in. And, but still he has accomplished more than anybody else. But what's your 100%. take on that? A hundred percent believe in that. I mean, even at number two, you know, you know, because he's fought everybody and he's moved up in weight, you know, and he's fought the best. I mean, he's, you know, um, he's fought the guy, he's fought the guys that, that are the best in the division, you know, and, and he came up uh, and had a difficulty in his last fight, but doesn't mean that it, he's any lesser than, right. than what he has been shown. Yeah. What, what is it like being in Japan, you know, finishing up your camp as opposed to back home? It, it's crazy to me, man, because, I, you know, when when I'm in the, uh, the venue or the, the area, it, it's fight week. So my yeah. body's telling me, oh, it's fight week, it's fight week. So it's trying to cut down all this weight. And I'm like, no, 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 it's too it's too early for that. You know, um, what it's like, it's, it, you know, I got the last three days I was in quarantine to, uh, you know, Japan rules and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. and, you know, it was it was. It was it was driving me crazy because right. I, I <laughs> my mind was like I gotta fight I gotta fight you know and right. you know it's 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 it, I've been doing it for such a long time 20, 20 years wow. or twenty one years in the professional level and when I when I when I am in the area it just automatically feels like my body says oh we're fighting today or we're fighting this week so I'm gonna I usually cut weight. And um, and then get ready for the fight. But my mental state is like I really have to calm myself down because, I mean, that's all it is in my head right now is is fighting, fighting, fighting. Yeah. I gotta fight, I gotta fight. But then I'm like I'm telling myself I'm like no, 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 it's not time yet. It's not. You gonna time come? Yet. You gonna come in the ring or flyweight? <laughs> I know. So that's why I mean it's great because Japan got really nice and amazing, delicious food all around. So yeah. you know, um, it, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. But at the same time, it's just me trying to trying to hold a uh, chain my my uh my dog in me yeah. you know to uh to <laughs> yeah. to calm down you know it's not time yet I, I can't release i can't i can't let go of that chain well what yes, would sir. you say about the culture you know some uh, a fighter that we he's been on our show many times so uh, we think highly of him is jorge linares who yeah. spent so many years in japan it's his second home uh, and he loves the culture he says it keeps his mind so focused on a sport can you talk a little bit about that japanese culture Outside the thing food. about the Japanese culture is, um, you know, they they're set in, in in one thing, and they'll they'll do it. You know, it's it's all about integrity and 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 trying to be and trying to have integrity in the things that you do. Yeah. You know, all these guys, like for instance, I was just talking to uh, the guys that that you know part of my team here that does the interpretation for uh for you know in in Japan. He tells me that even though these guys don't have any fights, or even though they are on a top level, but they constantly train like they're like they're hungry. Wow. You know, so that's a that's the difference between the Japanese. They're always constantly um, in shape, I guess, is from what he was telling me, you know, and, and it's like a job for them. It's it's it, mm -hmm. they got to do it. You know, in, in the States, it's like me back in the days, I would get I would get I would get big and then I come down when the fight starts or yeah. when, the, when the camp starts, you know, over over here, I guess they um, they, they got to do they got it's, it's, it's a lifestyle and, and it's a job for them. Yes, mm -hmm. constantly, you know, oh, oh all year round so when you how long have you been there and what about sparring partners and all of that stuff well yeah we did we did set up a couple guys here you know a few guys actually mm -hmm. you know try to get to the 10 12 rounds um before coming in um and 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 uh closing it up you know the camp okay you know for next week so um but it's just different because the fight is on tuesday you know, so I have to kind of time the Monday. If it was, if it was Saturday, what is my Monday? If it was, gotcha. you know, if, if it was, yeah, it was right, my Friday. You got to start next week, last week. You got to start on a Wednesday. All right, that's it. No more sparring. You know, no more training too hard. Got gotcha. you. Is there right, a but rematch? we did set up a lot of the stuff out here, and and right. you know, um, just before another sparring comes in, we want to keep our body. Um, I guess we're we're emulating what the fight is. So I'm cutting. I'm cutting weight right now and then tomorrow i'll i'll eat and then and then spar uh on the last sparring you know and, and yeah. try to get it's just trying to emulate the whole thing with the fight got you you know uh he obviously given you he gave you a rematch i know it took a long time to get to this point but the first fight was super entertaining now for this particular fight is there a rematch clause for you like if you were to win this fight are you you know are you obligated to give him a rematch 
you know what? I don't even know, man. You know, my manager, my wife, um, she, <laughs> I'm just here to fight. That's is that, just is me, that her? Man. Is that her? Is that her back there? Ask her. She knows. Then she go. <laughs> no, she gonna tell them after they <laughs> announce the winner. <laughs> Uh, do you have any rematch clause and stuff like that? No, when we win, it's on to the next. I guess there you go. When we win, oh, it's on to the I like, next. I like your energy. <laughs> no, when we win, it's on to the next. He should have right. came. He should have right. came in the camera and said that. <laughs> I know. Oh, so you got her head going head going like this. Like, no. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you ever think um, to yourself like in the beginning when you was in negotiations that man I, I would rather have this in America. I mean, it's always good to have, you know, to have it, um, you know, in, in my hometown, even in Vegas, right? Yes. Um, yeah. I mean, I, it would be it would be great and it would be fair, but, you know, sometimes you got to roll with, with what you're given and, and go for that. You know, that's, that's I've always been that way. And I'm grateful for Richard reaching out to Mr. Honda and, and, and allowing this to happen. You know? Put me on the camera. What? Um, uh, monetary wise, it wouldn't make any sense though, because the first fight was twelve hundred dollars for ringsides. This fight is two thousand dollars for ringsides. Now, when Inouye fought in America, um, even the Das Marinas fight was only one hundred and fifty for the ringsides. Wow. Yeah. So the money is so. So the money is is definitely. Yeah. I mean, do I want to be fighting in the states? Definitely, you know, but. Yeah. The, the the financial and, and, and yeah 100%. yeah yeah exactly he's a great fighter he's a great fighter one of the best fighters in the world but he's just not known so it just makes sense in Over his hometown right yeah. he's not known yeah, here. yeah but he right. is big he's huge yeah. in in japan of oh, course yeah. no, no he, doubt. He, he really is great you know he now, is the monster now your wife said on to the next what is the next if you do get past in the way well, when 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 I do get past in the way in this one, when. you know, yeah, I mean, I don't I don't believe in the in the ifs, you know, I don't go no to the doubt. ring thinking the ifs, you know. So, no um, but with me, uh, when 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 all is said and done, um, I'm definitely gonna go for the undisputed uh, the last belts, title. Put all the belt together. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right, listen. Before we get out of here, we want to play a little game called the Standing Eight. We we shoot eight rapid fire questions to you. You got to respond to them quickly. First thing that comes to your mind. All right. Oh man, I bet you, I bet you, fighters are so horrible. At <laughs> some, some are some, good. Some, 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 some are good. good, but a lot of them are bad. You're right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. First, number one, Diego Corrales or Arturo Gatti. Pick one. Diego. Favorite boxing movie. Rocky. Mm. Which one? Talk hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> There's been. I'll say Creed. Is it go with Creed? I'll go with Creed. Oh, all right. All right. All right. All right. Toughest opponent you ever faced in your career? In New way. Ooh, what's your favorite accomplishment in boxing? Uh, the fight of the year. Oh, right. Ali, Mike Tyson. Ali. Lumpia or Pancit? I don't even know Pancet. if I said that properly. Pancit, Pancit. Pancet. <laughs> Pancet. Lumpia, I'm going Pancet. Lumpia. Lumpia. Going I should have known it sounds, it's just, it should sound Spanish. All I right. should have known that. <laughs> Philippines, California. California. I love California, man. I'm just, you know, I love oh. Philippines too, but yeah. No doubt. Oh. All right. Describe this person in one word, in a way. Tough. All right. Oh. Thank All you, right. There you Thank go. You. Listen. That was good. That was good. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Like Barack said to you, we are not shy and being biased. We're rooting for you. Yes, uh, uh, I'm excited to, to see this rematch, man. We'll be tuned in from America. Mm -hmm. Good luck, uh, No Need to, and best wishes. No, thank you guys, man. I really appreciate you guys, and, and no thank doubt. you for having me, man. Right. Our Stay pleasure, tuned. man. Good luck, brother. The flash is back. You know that's right. <laughs> the Filipino flash, baby.